SAE 80W90 and 85W1140 are both multi-viscosity gear oils, but they behave very differently in real-world conditions. The numbers refer to how the oil flows at cold temperatures, the W number, and how thick it stays when hot, the second number. An 80W90 oil flows more easily when cold and stays moderately thick when hot. 85W140, on the other hand, is thicker overall, not just in hot conditions, but even at lower temperatures. That means 85W140 gives stronger protection under heavy loads but may struggle to flow well in colder weather. In terms of real performance, 80W90 is better for cold starts, helps reduce fuel use, and works well in moderate loads and climates. It flows faster when you first start your vehicle, which protects gears from wear during cold mornings. It's commonly used in manual transmissions and medium-duty axles. 85W140, being much thicker, is ideal for situations with high torque, shock loading, or extreme pressure, such as heavy towing, off-road use, or commercial trucking in hot areas. It provides a stronger film between metal parts, which helps reduce gear wear under load, but it also creates more drag, which can lower fuel efficiency. From a chemical and durability standpoint, 80W90, especially when synthetic, usually resists oxidation and heat better, making it a good choice for longer oil change intervals. It's also easier on seals, which is important for older equipment. 85W140 is often made with conventional, mineral base oils, and while it gives strong protection in heavy-duty conditions, it can oxidize faster in high temperatures unless it's a high-quality synthetic blend. This might mean shorter oil change intervals in severe duty cycles. Another big difference is in how each oil handles extreme pressure. Most heavy-duty differentials require gear oil that meets API GL5 standards, which both 80W90 and 85W140 often meet. However, GL5 oils contain strong additive packages, especially sulfur and phosphorus, that can wear down certain materials like yellow metals, bronze or brass, which are sometimes found in manual transmissions. So for transmissions or older equipment with sensitive metals, you might need an 80W90 with a GL4 rating instead. In terms of fuel economy and wear over time, 80W90 has the edge in low to moderate loads. It reduces drag in the axle or gearbox, which improves miles per gallon and keeps things running cooler. But if you're consistently pushing your drivetrain, think heavy loads, steep grades, or lots of stop-and-go hauling. 85W140 gives a thicker, tougher oil film that protects the gears better. You're trading a little fuel efficiency for longer component life. Finally, seal compatibility and system design matter. Older axles or manual gearboxes may not handle thicker oils like 85W140 well, especially if seals are worn or made of sensitive materials. On the other hand, modern heavy-duty axles designed for high loads may actually require or recommend thicker gear oil, especially in hotter regions.